Hi, welcome back for part five. WeFixItNow.com. We offer local on-site computer repair in eastern North Carolina. Our phone number is included in the uh, right side of the description or uh, description area and links to both of our websites. Alright, what we're installing here is the power supply and hooking up the uh, these wires here to the motherboard. Here goes the power supply. In this case, this one uh, goes down and you just line up the appropriate uh, holes, line it up to the appropriate holes here and that's baby T-Rex. He come to join us putting the power supply in. He's my three-year-old. We got five children around here. So we got a house full. And what you do is you just balance this power supply, steady it with another hand. Get it. Take this other screw here. I always do them cat a corner. One in, the other one in. Then the other two holes just line up for you. It's easier to screw them in. Whatever way is easiest and suits you. Get it screwed down real good so it's not vibrating or making any noise. One thing about cooling fans, the more fans you have, the older they get, the more noise they make. Especially if you don't have them latched down good so to reduce the uh, vibration. Alright, screw it down real good. Power supplies in. All right. Leave it in the off position. Circle is off. Typically on power supplies, Japanese for go is a straight line. So we'll just leave it off. All right. Next thing we're going to do. I've already done several of these, so I pretty much know where to uh, put the stuff. But in your manual book that comes with the motherboard, you flip over to the appropriate page, and it's going to tell you how to jumper the. Uh, power LED and other things. So we're going to leave our book here. We're going to take the USB. The USB is always keyed. So there's one pin missing. We'll just come over here to the first one and plug it on in there. Alright, that's one of the USB. The second USB, serial ATA 1 and 2, IDE channel, power uh, source, uh, plug, and then there is a 4 pin 12 volt power source over here for extra power to the motherboard. And what we have here is this some of the front light cables, this extra thrills that come with this uh, motherboard. We're going to go on and connect these together. We're going to make our wires as long and as tangled free as possible. And make sure we got enough length on our front audio to plug it in. Now this here is labeled audio, and it's also keyed. There's a pin missing and it's blocked out, so you can't put it on but the right way. Well, I'm assuming you could force it and break something, but please don't do that. Pay attention to what you're doing. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to situate this and plug it on in. And now, if you want to plug your speakers and your headphones in to the front of the motherboard, hey, it's ready. And it's just long enough to hook under the bottom side of the motherboard. It's a shielded cable. It's perfectly fine down there. Alright, what we got to do is this one here says HDD LED. That's for the hard drive signal light. Alright, so when your hard drive's thinking, it's a blinking. This one's labeled here. We're going to separate these wires. Reset switch. This here is for your power LED. And I just happen to already know that the ground is over here for the power LED. So I'm going to plug the ground into the appropriate pin. I'm going to plug the positive one to make the LED light up. I'll bend that over a little bit. I'm referencing my book and the reset switch or the hard drive LED goes below the reset switch and the positive pin, if you look on the back side of these, there's a tiny triangle on the pin which has the, is positive. So positive goes to the outside of this row. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll line it up and they're really tiny on top of these little pin sets. It'll tell you 
Be sure you get on the appropriate pins here. You don't want to cross wire or accidentally plug something in the wrong spot. Alright, reset. Reset switch goes right next to the hard drive LED. So that's simple. We just plug it in the appropriate spot. And then we got to go fish down here. Uh oh. Here's the power switch. The power switch goes across, directly across from the reset switch. And the hard drive and power LED, it makes a difference how you plug them in. The reset switch, you don't, they're getting, you know, it doesn't make a difference uh, on, on one of these style uh, motherboards or cases because the, when you, um, it grounds out or initiates when you push the button, so it doesn't matter whether it's negative or positive. Alright, and so we got all this plugged in. The only thing left for us to do is to plug the power into our different devices. What we're going to do is separate our wires real quick. And we're going to plug in our 4 pin P4 power right there. It's our 24 pin. Extra 4 pins is 24 pin um, power supply for this 24 pin uh, motherboard. There you go. We got serial ATA and regular Molar connectors here for power. Two different lines. And now we're ready to uh, to go on to the next part. Thank you for viewing Michael and WeFixItNow.com. It's our tutorial on how to assemble your own computer.